Hi, Claire Maxfield here from the International Style Academy. Every week I try and bring you another tip or something a little bit different to make looking good, simple and attainable for everybody. This week I'm going to be sharing with you how to understand if you have long and short legs or long or short legs and how to dress appropriately to make the most of your body. This is something that's very dear to my heart because unbeknownst to many people out there I have very short legs. Um, in fact the difference between me sitting and standing is often not much at all but I have an incredibly long torso so that can make uh, dressing challenging for me. And then you have people who have very long legs and a short torso and they have their own set of challenges. I'm going to share with you firstly how to work out if you have long or short legs and a couple of quick tips to do to maximize the way you look. All the time. So let's have a look at some bodies. I've got three girls here, put them in a maxi dress and you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. But from their backs you can see the first girl is balanced, the second girl's her legs are a little shorter than her torso and the third girl her torso shorter than her legs. So here we have balanced, short-legged and long-legged. Let's see how it looks when we get dressed. Here's a girl in gym gear, great shape, no doubt about that, but see how her legs look shorter the way she's dressed right now. Change her into this outfit and her legs automatically become longer because the line from her top is now sitting up a lot higher than it was before. Using the line of your top is a great way to make yourself look longer or shorter. Look at me here. I've got my top down so low, my legs look like they almost don't exist. Change that top into a colour, the same as my pants. I've created a column of colour. And this is a very slimming technique and a great technique to make yourself look taller. Remember that, ladies, that column of colour. Then we go here and we've got a couple of my students. Sue and Sharon were about the same height and here we're doing an exercise against the wall. But can you see where the circles are? That's where their legs finished. So you can see that Sue's legs are a lot shorter than Sharon's, which is why Sue will always look much better in a skirt than trousers. But I want to look at fashion now. So we've got this model here, pretty well balanced. And if you wonder why I always mark the top of the leg at the top of the groin, it's because from that point, if you've got trousers or something on, that is where you see the leg. So that is where you make your decisions. Now here's this girl in loose trousers and a loose top. She looks fine, no doubt about that. But if you have shorter legs, it's not going to look so good. You might want to put heels on, but do you notice how now that's not quite working right? Because if you look here, we've got this gap at the floor. So sometimes using heels will not, not always work. The better solution here is to use a slimmer trouser and that will give you more height and make the loose top work. But now let's put her in a shorter top and she looks all legs. So someone with longer legs looks great in a longer top, shorter legs, shorter top. And here's how to wear your jackets. I've used leopard print because it's very in right now. Um, and someone with long legs, long jacket. See here, if you have shorter legs, your legs look longer in the shorter jacket. Little simple tips. Now it's coming into summer. If you want to wear capris and you have short legs, wear one which are fitted to your leg because they will give the most length leg of leg. See how here we put a looser trouser on? and their legs automatically start looking shorter. So if you want to be cool and comfortable, just chuck on a pair of heels because I know that is generally how I get myself through every summer. So I hope you've enjoyed the tips you've got here on how to dress long or short legs. I hope you've enjoyed today's tip and I look forward to bringing more to you every week. This is Claire Maxfield. See you next time.